Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some of our new Genshin Impact items. Now these ones that I'm gonna be showing you guys are specifically our metal items. So we got a bunch of new ones in, so let me show you guys. So the first one I'm gonna be showing you guys is Wolf's Gravestone. So we have a version of Wolf's Gravestone made in fiberglass, but this is actually our metal version. It looks really, really cool. As you can see, this blade has all those nice little details on it, as well as that really nicely detailed um, guard that is also metal as you can kind of hear you can as you can kind of hear so this one is very cool as you can see I am touching the blade which means that this one isn't sharp it is carbon steel it's not high carbon steel so I don't really recommend using this to uh, cut anything or anything like that it's mostly just a display piece and also uh, a cosplay accessory if you want to use it for one um, and again just because I say something isn't sharp and I'm holding the blade like this does not mean that you cannot hurt yourself with this it is still a quite the heavy sword and it is kind of pointy so you really do need to be careful so the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is the Skyward Pride Claymore. So this is what that looks like. And again, we do have a version of this in fiberglass, but this again is our metal version. It has some really nice details on the blade. Same thing as the Wolf Gravestone. It has all those really cool details. The guard is also metal, as you can kind of hear. And again, this one is also carbon steel. It is not high carbon steel. So the same rule applies to the one that I just showed you, Wolf's Gravestone. Uh, just because I say something isn't sharp doesn't mean that it can't actually hurt you. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this one is actually a little bit more semi-sharp, I would say, rather than just fully dull. So the next one I'll be showing you guys is the Mist Splitter Reforge. So this one, again, is another metal version of the sword. I don't believe we have a fiberglass or foam version of this, but I think I am actually wrong and I think we actually do have one. I think we at least have a foam version, um, but if we do, we'll link it in the description down below. Um, so this is what that looks like. And again, this is metal and I, I would say this one is semi-sharp. This one is also carbon steel, uh, but again, still be very, very careful with this. I really like this one. It looks like, like you can see the sword and you just know it's from Genshin Impact. I love that about this sword. I love the little details all over the blade. Same thing with the um, Skyward Pride Claymore and also Wolf's Gravestone. It has all those really nice details all over the blade. And again, this part is metal. And also look at those cutouts right over there. So you have all these circle cutouts right where they are supposed to be. Very, very, very cool sword. So I've saved my favorite one for last. This is Raiden Shogun's Electro Sword or Raiden Shogun. I've had people tell me that it's Raiden and I've had some people tell me that it's Raiden and I'm not sure which is which. So you can correct me in the comments uh, if you'd like to. So this is the, I'll just say the Electro Sword. So this is the Electro Sword. I really like this one. Again, it has all these really nice details all over the blade, just like the other ones. Um, then obviously right over here, you have all those cutouts and I love this detail right over here. And again, everything is metal. Same thing with the Tsuba. Again, if you see the Tsuba has all these super cool cutouts and, ow, <laughs> and it has this really nice um, detailed handle. And I like the details on, all of them have detailed handles, but I like the ones on, the details on this handle specifically just because I think it looks really, really cool. You have all that orange right over there. You have these gold little things and these pearls also. These are kind of like pearl stones right over here. I think that's really cool. My favorite part is I actually just really like the fact that this is like a rubbery material. So this sword is probably like the most comfortable to hold just because of that rubbery material. I think it's very, very cool. And again, uh, just like the other ones, this one is carbon steel, so it is dull, it is not sharp. So again, I wouldn't use it for cutting anything or anything like that. And also, uh, just because I say that these swords are sharp, we get these we get this question a lot. Can you sharpen the swords on your own? And in technicality, you can do whatever you want. But I really don't recommend doing that just because uh, there is a risk of hurting yourself because these swords are not built to actually cut anything. And also, you're just ruining the integrity of your blade so it's just really pointless to do it so i really 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 don't recommend it so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video make sure to subscribe to see more fire and steel content and leave a comment let us know what you think and if you want to see even more fire and steel content make sure to follow us on our other social media channels any social media that you guys have we also probably have and if you guys want to see any more of our genshin impact items or you wanna grab one of these Genshin Impact swords for yourself, make sure to check the links in the description down below and check out our website, fireandsteel.ca.